sort of so this is going to be my first time taking the baby out me and the baby out like actually in store since i've had him um we are four weeks postpartum and yeah so i have to go to walmart to get a few things um not a long store trip but um yeah it'll be the first time we're going out inside of somewhere we've done like drive ups and things like that but haven't really been in store so i'm gonna see how it goes um i like to try to get my errands done while the older kids are gone or at school so i can get in and out so they are with their dad for the weekend so i'm going to try to get some errands done and some things done around the house but i'm about to go oh, my voice is going away but i'm about to go to dunkin donuts because i saw that they have this cookie butter uh, latte I think and I want to try it so I'm about to go there first because coffee <laughs> um, and I've never really been too much of a coffee drinker I'm still not honestly um, but I like coffee from all places I'm not like a super Starbucks or Dunkin Donuts or whatever fan I like drink local coffee Starbucks Dunkin Donuts whatever I'm kind of in the mood for for the day but yeah so i've been hearing about that and i just wanted to give it a try and um see how i like it um coffee really doesn't do much for me as far as like how people like drink coffee to get going with their day it doesn't like give me uh energy boost whether it's you know sweet coffee or straight coffee it really doesn't do much for me i just like kind of like the taste so i usually get like a sweet latte or something like that so i'm going to go try it out and i think the um they have like a maple breakfast sandwich i'm going to get that too and i'll just let you guys know what i think about it I just realized you can probably hear the sound machine in the back with the baby i got this portable sound machine and i absolutely love it um it's like a white noise machine and um, you can use batteries or in the car use the USB cord and it's super helpful. He loves that machine and I don't have to like turn on the white noise on my radio when I need to use it. So it's really a, like a go-to for me and it was cheap. Like I got it off of Amazon same day and um, less than $20. So yeah, definitely comes in handy. But so I have the cookie butter, the brown sugar cookie butter cold brew whatever it has a lot of words i don't know why but yeah brown sugar cookie butter latte or whatever they call it cold brew who knows who knows and who cares and y'all i went and i caught myself ordering this maple bacon sandwich and they gonna tell me they out of croissants they're like we're making some croissants but we can put it on some other type of bread so i got it on a bagel but i feel like it's not gonna hit the same but i'm not picky so either way it's fine but it's 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 not gonna be a full review because it's not the way the sandwich comes on the menu you know so what else it looks good though y'all like look at that look good to me and this looking good y'all i like sweet coffee like i know people are like oh, i want my coffee black those are real coffee drinkers i guess but me put some sugar put some shots of caramel put put everything in there to make it sweet because that's the only way i'm gonna drink it you know so yeah and i don't even really like hot coffee like i like tea hot tea but hot coffee that's not really my thing but even if it is, it has to have creamer and sugar and everything. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna try this. So I'm back after trying the sandwich. Pete Bison sandwich and the drink. I had to take another sip to let y'all know. So they're both pretty good. Like the sandwich is busting, y'all. No, sandwich is busting. I mean, it's not anything major. It's just a regular breakfast sandwich. It has like cheese, eggs, fried eggs, the bacon. It's supposed to be a croissant, but this is a bagel. And it tastes good with the bagel, so. Um, but I like it. It's a basic breakfast sandwich, but it's really good. So that's I like that. I will say, like the maple bacon. 
I was about to say it's not really giving me two maple, but it, it's definitely, you can taste the maple. So it's there. Um, like the sandwich, definitely something you can make at home though. So if you don't want to splurge to spend your money, you can save it. But as for me, oh, I'm going to spend some money. So <laughs> if you go ahead and pick something up and you're looking for a sandwich, I would definitely recommend it. And the drink is really good. Now, I will say, I feel like I'm loud. Probably so, but I'm always loud, so you get what you get. Um, I will say with the drink, though, I can taste the brown sugar more than, like, a cookie butter taste to it. It doesn't really give me cookie butter. I don't know what I, what I would be expecting for cookie butter, but I'm kind of thinking of, like, the cookie you get on the airplane, you know? And it's not giving me cookie butter. It's not giving me any type of cookie butter. Um the cookie the they have like some cookies at the top but you don't really get that i feel like you're probably not gonna get that till like you get to the bottom of the drink so at first taste you're really getting more of that brown sugar which i like brown sugar is a fave of mine so i like the drink it just doesn't give cookie butter um but i would definitely order this again it's good and y'all why this is a medium drink and I don't think I've ever ordered a large from Dunkin' Donuts, but like, isn't this huge? Like, if I ordered a large, I would never drink it. Like, I don't even think I'm gonna drink this. I could've got a small, but yeah, you definitely get your bang for your bucket at Dunkin', you know. Yeah. Okay, so for this whole thing that I got, I paid $9, which to some may be a lot of money, but to me it's not because when I go to like another coffee shop, we won't name the name and I don't bash them because I like them. But when I go there and I get a large drink and a sandwich, it's well over $9, y'all. So to me, it was worth it. But if you tried it before, let me know what you think about it. Or if you try it, go try it. Let me know what you think. If you think you can taste the cookie butter or what, because I... I've just taken a few sips, like, it's not giving me cookie butter, but it's definitely giving that brown sugar taste. And it's good, y'all, it's good. But, yeah, I'm about to head to Walmart, and I brought my baby carrier, because I think I'm going to take him in in the carrier versus the car seat. Because I just don't want, I feel like when you have a car seat, it draws so much attention, and people are, like, trying to look as you walk by to see like the baby in the car seat and stuff like that and yeah i'm a huge advocate for don't touch my car seat don't touch my baby you know um so i'm gonna just put him in the carrier so he's so close to my body that nobody even gets a chance to come close you know um because they're obviously not gonna come close to my body like whatever but yeah i think i'm gonna do that and i'm just gonna get a few things and try to get in and out and I think I have one more stop to make after that. And I'm going back home after that. After they give me some lunch. I know y'all probably like, girl, you're just not eating breakfast. But yeah, I'm already thinking about lunch. That's me. That's what I do. I eat. I'm a foodie. So yeah, I'm already thinking about lunch. Because I don't know why I waited this late to eat breakfast. Um, But yeah. I don't know what I'm going to grab for lunch. But I'm going to grab something before I go back to the house. And get to cleaning. So... Yeah, let's go to Walmart. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. Right. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. We can get away. I'm just beach fuels and then every day. All I wanna hear is an everything that we play Staring next to you, you I try not to show how I feel about you I think I wish you away Really only really wanna, I just wanna get away Staring next to you, you We just got out of Walmart, we're leaving Walmart And my phone died while I was in there, but he slept the whole time in the baby carrier, which I expected because he loves being in the baby carrier. Um, so I was able to get everything I needed 
and I didn't even know. I, I don't know why I didn't know this, but I have never really seen the Hello Bello diapers in Walmart. And so I saw them today and they had this cute little Dr. Seuss pattern. And so I grabbed some of those, a small case, cause I'm really trying to figure out what type of diapers that I really like. Um, and I really wasn't a big fan of Huggies with my other kids. So I haven't tried them out. Um, and Huggies is what they, well I have, cause Huggies is what they used in the hospital. They used to use the Pampers when I had my other two kids. So um, yeah, not a huge fan of Huggies. Um, he did fine with them in the hospital though, so, but, um, I've tried out the rest of friends and I do like those as far as like his, that's still what he's been using for like his overnight diaper. And I've tried out the new, um, Gabrielle Union and, um, Dwayne Wade line. I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, but yeah, they have that line for melanated babies and I've tried that out and I really like it. The pattern is so cute. Um, but it isn't the best for his overnights because um, to me, I feel like you have to change it more often. Um, it's not like one of those leak proof ones. So I'm gonna try the Hello Bello out and see how I like those as well. I haven't really disliked the diapers I've used. I'm just trying to figure out which ones. The best like leak proof coverage, all that. So yeah, we're gonna try the Hello Bello out. But yeah, oh yeah, and I also had to find some um, pacif a pacifier because I've been trying pacifiers out um, and they say like not to introduce a pacifier early to the breastfeeding baby. So I did it. Um, well, he did kind of use one in the hospital, but not really. He didn't like it. And so we didn't use it. But um, now I'm on a hunt to find a pacifier that will work for him that and he just fits them out or acts like he's gagging, like he's about to die um so i'm just trying to find one because he does sometimes use me as a soother like he's not hungry and then he ends up spitting up because he's breastfeeding for comfort and not for like because he's hungry so i'm trying to find a pacifier that works for him for nighttime when he's like just trying to go to sleep and just using me as a pacifier so um i've tried out a few now tummy tippy had one that they said was um breast like and he hated it and um i had saw some things about itsy ritzy but i saw the pacifier and it didn't look like it was going to be much different than the one i tried before that so um i have got these avon avon however you say it um got these to try out um because they're a little bit shorter um so hopefully it won't have that like gag reflex type of thing but yeah we're gonna keep trying um i might be wasting my money but it's part of the process, I guess. Um, and so I'm just trying to find something that works. Um, and I know all babies are different. So some people on TikTok were like were recommending certain ones, but um, I just have to find out which one he takes, which one he likes. So um, no big deal. I think these were like $6 or something like that. So if he doesn't like them, he just doesn't like them. And we will move along. I saw an expensive one on the internet that everybody was saying, and that's going to be my last resort. Uh, if this one doesn't work, I'll probably order that one to try it out because it did have a lot of good, good reviews from different people. So it may be the one that works, but I've tried the cheaper options first. Girl, you going to be on YouTube. Nope, she don't care. Yeah, I'm about to go grab something to eat because I'm hungry again. And I don't care. Judge me if you want to. That breakfast sandwich got eight. And I'm about to eat again. Um, I will blame it on breastfeeding, but it's not the breastfeeding fault. I did this before the breastfeeding, so there's that. <laughs> for this video this vlog um i'm going to try to wind down for today and for the night and watch something on 
Netflix or Hulu. I don't really have a show that I'm really into right now. Well, I am into the Tyler Perry sister show and the Zatima, but I think Zatima isn't coming out with new episodes right now. And sisters, I'm all caught up. If you guys have any recommendations for any series or anything like that that you think are good, drop them in the comments because I am looking for new stuff to watch. It's hard for me to get into like a series because um, if it's like, if it goes too long between the episodes then I kind of just lose track of it. Um, and I'm not really into like the love and hip hop type of things, uh, or like those type of like, can't even think of a word for reality shows. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for sure, drop them and I will check them out to see if there's something that the type of thing that I like, but yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, um, and subscribe if you like this content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.